These were the same people that I was in the trenches with. Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell by the title, I am doing a series called Growing Pains where I just talk about some of the stuff that is so difficult about growing up. And you guys enjoyed my fake friends video so much that I thought I would expound on that and kind of give you an update about where I am in that journey, I should say. So that's why this is called Growing Pains because I feel like there's so many things that you go through when you're a young adult and you're still trying to figure life out and I sometimes feel like I don't have anyone else to talk to so I thought that I would talk to you guys um, so this part one of growing pains is going to be losing friends and finding new ones so if this sounds like something that you're interested in and then keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you like this video and yeah let's get straight into it <laughs> My mom always told me that some people are in your life for seasons and it's hard to really like believe that when you're growing up because you think that all your friends are going to be your friends forever right and then you start to get a little bit older and you realize okay maybe this person is not really for me and people start to drop off lives change people go through things and you know you just start to find yourself more alone than you normally would and that's where I am right now um I just feel very alone as far as having friends girlfriends um people that I can you know really come to and number one be my authentic self because well we'll get there so I've noticed over the last couple years really since I've gotten married things have changed a lot for me I've had I would say at least three or four friends kind of move themselves out of my life or I have removed people from my life since I've become a wife and that's not really anything that I can control you know some people feel like I'm on a different level than them or I can't relate to them or they can't relate to me because I don't go out as much anymore I'm not doing this I'm not staying out all night and I'm not doing this that and the other I'm trying to change my life I'm trying to focus more on God focus more on my family my health my well-being and so for me it's been kind of difficult to find people that are aligned with where you are now or where I am now and I know that people talk about like being evenly yoked and when they talk about that they mostly talk about it in the capacity of romantic relationships but I do believe that your friendships have to be equally yoked as well and that's not saying that like oh I'm a billionaire so I can only have billionaire friends but you want to surround yourself with people that you see on the upward trajectory that you're kind of on. So for me, that looks like taking a step back from a lot of people that continuously party or continuously are just doing things that are not in alignment to where I'm trying to be right now. Like if you're not working out, if you're not eating healthy, you know, those kinds of things, it just kind of gets like off balance. It's like, all right, I know you're my friend and I know that we have history. However, where you're going and where I'm going are two different places that I don't necessarily want to go where you're going, but you don't necessarily want to go where I'm going, you know? And so for me, I found myself more often than not either hanging out with my husband or just being alone. And I'm not a person that likes to be alone. I'm a girl's girl, number one. I thrive off of having healthy relationships with girlfriends and long-term, you know, relationships. And so for me, Number one, I've been living here in Houston my whole life, so I've never gotten the chance to make friends in another state or make friends in another city or just meet completely new groups of people. If I do make new friends, it's more often than not people that have moved from another state to Houston or just people that have lived in Houston for a while that I don't know because I literally know everyone here because I've been here my whole life so that's why it's also hard to make new friends but then another thing that I I battle with is like you want new friends I want new friends and not because I don't like my friends let me just 
put that out there. I love my friends, but I'm also looking for friends that are more aligned with where I am, more friends that can help my relationship grow with Christ, friends that we can pray together, friends that we can go to brunch together and we don't have to be at the strip club or smoking hookah or with loud music. Like I'm growing into a woman and I want women friends and so I feel like a big thing for me is like okay well I want new friends but I trust my old friends so much as far as they have been there when I wasn't this person you know and I feel like I don't want to have to explain my old self to new friends or I don't know how to explain it like I don't want to have to feel like there's a part of me that this person doesn't know like of course you're getting to know me as the new Cody however I just feel like it's just an easier connection when you know somebody knows you like my best friend from college my girl my oh like ride or die nobody's ever gonna know me like she knows me and so that's what plays with my head like having to get to know somebody completely from scratch having somebody get to know me and then getting them getting to know the new me you know it's just all like a mind thing then being in this like social media creative insta whatever space you never know who's genuine you know and so i also battle with that a lot i battle with like thinking that people are only going to want to be my friend to get something out of me or to learn about social media for me like i don't particularly even want to talk about that outside of when i'm filming or when i'm creating like i really don't want to talk about social media and being an influencer and all that like i just want to be able to chit chat with my girlfriends and so that has been a huge growing pain for me it's just realizing like what my mom said was true like some people are here for seasons and it's hard for me because I I feel like and I could be completely wrong but I feel like I'm a very sweet girl um I, I try to stay out of drama I'm not like aggressive I, I I really try to mind my business drink my water go to Pilates eat my fruit and that bothers some people that bothers even the people that are closest to you some people don't like to see you change some people don't like to see you grow or if they did want to see you grow and change they get envious of the positions that you're in now which i feel like has happened to me several times over the last few years you know not to say that i'm doing anything that people should be envious of because i i've never felt like that in my entire life people always say oh maybe that person's jealous of you i i for the life of me could never understand why somebody somebody would be jealous of me because i'm i just feel like i'm always playing catch up you know um, and so that's one thing I've had to overcome as well I've had friends completely just stop talking to me because they weren't in good situations with their significant others or their business or whatever and I was in a happy loving relationship and they completely just stopped talking to me just started kind of outcasting me or treating me differently and so that to me is very strange and it's very hard to even fathom because these were the same people that I was in the trenches with not like the literal trenches but you know like when you're growing up and you're trying to figure ish out like you have those friends that you're hanging out with and those would be the friends that I cried to that I vented to and they knew my situation and they knew that I was I was longing for more I was longing for better and when I finally got that better I finally got that more they didn't want to see that and so I've had to deal with losing so many people and I just really I know that there's somebody out there that can relate to this and so I wanted to speak on just my growing pains like friendship is so precious and special to me and I've I have on one hand like I can count on one hand the people that I trust with my whole heart my my ride or die friends like I literally can count them on one hand and that's not a bad thing but there comes a time where a girl wants new friends like a couple of my best friends have well one of my best friends has moved the other best friend stopped living here like six or seven years ago I feel like one of my relationships with my friends has completely died this year so I'm just kind of like 
grasping for relationships and I was talking to a friend today um, and she was reminding me like you know maybe God is removing people from your life so that you can see that you don't need those people all you need is him all you need is Jesus and they are your friends and so that's one thing that I am trying to focus on so I will say that if you're going through the same or similar growing pain of finding new friends you know in the midst of your growth remember that God is always your friend Jesus is always your friend and they will never leave us nor forsake us um so that's one thing that's been kind of like replaying in my mind over the last few weeks that I've really been dealing with this honestly the last couple of days it's been like hammering in my mind like the Holy Spirit is really in my head like girl you got us you don't need these people and it, it's hard it's hard, yes, because another, the friend I was talking to today, she doesn't live here anymore either. She lives a couple hours away now. And so most of the time I'm, you know, I want to go out to lunch. I want to go on a girl's trip, do these things. And I don't have that luxury. Um, and for a 20 something year old girl, like it's really hard, especially you live in a really cool city, you know, like your life is really nice and you have set things up by the grace of God, you know, to where you can enjoy your life and you have no one to enjoy it with. Thank God I have my husband and he's always gonna be my best friend as well, but there's nothing like having girlfriends. Um, and so I really just wanted to talk to you guys because this growing pain is something that I have been just like, ugh, struggling with you guys. And so I just wanted to come and talk to you and you know give you some relatable content give you a chit chat a sit down to talk with me and hopefully i've like touched on some things you know that maybe you guys are dealing with or trying to figure out how to navigate through because it's hard out here right now you know it's really hard to find genuine people genuine connections and you're not alone sis and or bro whoever's watching you guys are not alone and I'm gonna bring some more videos to this growing pain series so if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and know that you're not alone I am here and if you guys want to be friends if you guys live in Houston we can be friends I'm just really looking for I'm looking for a meaningful lasting God-fearing group of women that I can connect with that love to travel, that love luxurious things, that love to look good and take care of themselves. Like, that is what I'm manifesting. Manifest. These are my manifest fingers. Manifest, manifest, manifest. <laughs> that is all for this Growing Pains chit chat. Um, my name is Cody and I hope that you guys took a little bit away from this video. Know that you are not alone, especially because you have me and you also have the Lord that loves you so, so much. So I thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next Growing Pains video. Bye.